Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a while back, a user asked me for a submarine. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. The first thing we should do is name it. Mine is going to be a nuclear sub, and I'm going to put my initials after it. Friends, we are going to build our sub with a cylinder. Bring it out, set it down, hold shift, stretch it to Crazyville, and then I want you to type the number 35. Let's make the sides totally round with 64, and let's change the length of it to 115. I'm going to hit Fit View, which is F, and let's add the front to our submarine. We're going to do that with the work plane, and I want you to scroll down and find the paraboloid and bring it out. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's hold shift, stretch it to Crazyville, and once again type 35 so that it is the right size. And then let's grab the two of them, click align. I'm going to make the orange one the master and click center and center. Now this is too tall for what we want. It looks more like a rocket, so let's instead change it to 17 and press enter. That looks more like the front of a submarine. Let's put the work plane back down on the ground, grab those two items, and rotate them 90 degrees. Notice I am touching the orange shape. That makes it snap real easy to those spots. We used negative 90, and then I'm going to hit the letter D to drop it to the ground level. I'm going to move it to the edge of the workspace, and let's add the back end to our submarine. Once again, work plane, click that spot, and we're going to build it with a paraboloid as well. Same trick, hold down shift and stretch it out. Change that number to 35 and press enter. Let's put the work plane back on the ground, select everything, click a line. We're going to make the orange one the master and do center and center again. This one we're going to stretch out longer. Instead of 35, let's type 47 and press enter. You can see that looks like a submarine shape. Now let's add some awesome fins. I want you to go to the all shapes. And we need to go all the way out to page 13. So when you click, you can go by twos. There's 10, 12. And then finally on page 13, there's one called the swept NASA. Let's use that shift technique to squeeze it down. And I'm going to tell you the number that we want to type for this height is 12. We are going to make two of these and we're going to space them out using the five millimeter nudge. Hold down control and tap the up arrow six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click on that again and let's use duplicate, which is control D. We're going to drop that one down, but we're going to flip it. So now you have got a pair of them that we're going to add back here in the back. Make sure you can only see the two from that angle and do control D again, because we're going to turn it into four and we're just going to rotate it 90 degrees. Take those four awesome parts and make them in a group. And let's drag them back into the back of our sub. I'm going to tell you to select all of that and click a line. Once again, make the orange one the master. And we want to choose center. And we want to choose center. Now let's just grab these back two pieces and click a line. And let's bring it to the back. And then let's move it forward three clicks. One, two, three. So we're still using that five millimeter nudge until that moment. Let's also go back to our pages here and find page three and get our propeller there is an awesome piece called the pro gear friends when you bring out this pro gear we're going to just change a few slick settings make sure the teeth change to three and press enter we're going to do the tooth base height as four and press enter and then all we do is go to the helical angle and i want you to type 35 and press enter check it out almost instant prop for our sub. I'm going to make it gray just because I think that looks more sub color. And let's look at it from an angle so we can lift it up. This is the one we're going to use. And remember, you just stretch close to it 90 degrees and the prop is ready for putting back here. 
Friends, we're gonna put this prop in a tube on the back. I want you to bring it out and I want you to change it to these numbers. Type 11 and then let's make it super round. Then let's take this bevel and make it two and press enter. And I want you to do five and press enter. We wanna stretch this till it's 12 high. I'm gonna stretch it a long ways and then just type 12. Once again, let's look at it from a corner. I'm gonna use fit view so we can see it better. And let's stand that up 90 degrees. Notice I'm staying inside the ring or it goes one degree at a time. This ring right here lets us just snap it to the exact spot. Let's grab these two pieces and then hold down shift and click on the tail section of our sub. Click a line and make that tail section the master and let's do center and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and center and I also wanna move both those pieces to the back. Check it out, our prop is now in place. I'm gonna click on it and use the arrow keys to just nudge it back a couple pieces and I think that looks pretty darn slick. If you want to adjust it so it's thinner or something, you can fiddle with it as much as you want. But now it's time to move up to the front of our sub and let's add the tower. The tower is once again going to be a basic shape. We're gonna do a cylinder, hold shift, stretch it to Crazyville, and I want you to type 24. When you do that, click on the front side and let's make it 12 so that way it's got more of a tower shape. Let's also make the sides super rounded. Let's type in that bevel of two and segments, let's actually make this 10. I'm gonna select both of those, click a line. Once again, the sub will be the master. Here is my middle of the sub, here is my top of the sub. And then I can click on that little piece poking out and I'm gonna do control up arrow to raise it up to the height that I like. I'm also gonna nudge it further forward because I think that looks more realistic for this sub. And then I'm gonna click on those fins and do Control D. And friends, I'm gonna nudge this forward using the arrow keys. <laughs> Kinda looks like a shark going through. And then I'm gonna do Control Up to raise it up. And then watch this, friends. Uh, if we click on this little fella and do Ungroup, I'm going to hide the sub real quick, hide the tower real quick, and I'm gonna get rid of the vertical ones. Delete, delete. I'm gonna switch back to my five millimeter nudge. I'm gonna nudge it in five millimeters and in five millimeters. I'm gonna take those two pieces and group them. And now when we do show, check it out. They are in the perfect spot for our sub. If you want to change their shape a little, just make sure before you do any adjustments, you switch back to your one millimeter grid so you can be more precise to get that exact look that you're looking for. Friends, just like that, we have created an awesome nuclear sub. I'm going to select all of mine and I'm going to make it a gray. You can do all kinds of fun things with your colors and make it more realistic. I want to send a huge shout out to Steve. He started designing and asked me some questions and asked me about the sub. He actually built this ahead of me. So I used his as my template, which makes me a lot faster and it just turns out so epic. So friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with the design and I also want you to remember, if you click this little button, you can generate a link and you can share it with me so I can check out how awesome yours turned out. You can always find me at HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. Of course, you can also reach out using the messaging on the HL Mod Tech website. Just make sure you paste that same link right here and give me your name and email so that we can interact and I can check out your awesome work. Also, a huge shout out to everybody that's installing TubeBuddy from the link down below. That helps me out and you'll find as you start creating your channel, it'll help you as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day